All right. If you're looking for help with the estimating population size gizmos, I think you came to the right place. I think I can do it. And any of these are, that I think are too complicated, I'm going to skip. And you feel free to skip them too. Unless you already did it, then don't erase it. All right. So we're going to try to figure out the, the population of marbles in a bag. All right. So first, we know there's 100 marbles total. We don't know how many of them are black marbles. So some are black. So we randomly, without looking, we, we pull out four marbles out of the bag. And one is black. One out of four is 25%. So we're gonna we're gonna estimate we're gonna guess that 25% of the marbles in the bag are black. Well, what's what's 25% of 100? That'd be 25. Explain? I just did. I just explained it with with my mouth. All right, now we're gonna kind of do a different way. This time we know how many marbles are black, but we don't know how many total marbles there are. Once again, now there's 100 black marbles in there, but we don't know how many total, how many different colored, you know, how many what, how many are white, how many are green, or whatever. So we pull out again, we pull out another random sample of only four. Pretty small sample. You probably want to pick more than that. And one is black. So once again, 25% of the marbles are black. So what So what would the total number have to be for 100 to be 25%? Well, the answer is 400. Because 100 is 25% of 400. So we're going to guess that there's 400 marbles in that bag. All right, now the gizmo. All right, scientist tags 100 fish, releases them, uh, catches 50. All right, so 100. So I gotta, we tagged 100. We're going to catch 50. So you can see all the red ones. See, all the red ones are tagged. We, we put a little tag on them. And then we're going to go. We're going to release them back into the wild. And then we're going to catch them again to see how many of them are tagged. And in this one, and you can put calculate, and it does all the calculations for you. So 32 of the 50 fish that we ca we caught had a tag. That's 64%. Let's go back. How many tag fish did the fishermen catch? What was it again? 32 out of the 50. 32. What percent of the fish in the sample were tagged? Was it 64? Uh, 64 is correct. 64% of the fish had a tag. A lot. 64%. At the bottom of the gizmo, select show total fish in pond. How many fish are in this pond? Uh, it was 162. Our estimate, our estimate was 156. And the, the actual number is 162. So that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good estimate. 162. <clears throat> All right, page two is kind of hard. I'm going to skip some of this because it doesn't tell me everything what to do. It says set the tag fish to 50, but it doesn't tell me how how many fish to catch. So I'm, I'm going to stick with fit, catching 50, I guess, but I right, select tag fish to 50. I'm going to select a new pond. Boink. All right. So now what do we got? Now I'm going to catch and release again. I'm guessing. Okay. Caught, catch a hundred fish. All right. So we're going to catch 100 and catch and check. 18 of the fish. So remember, last time it was 64% were tagged. This time it's only 18. All right. So what is it going to ask us for? How About how many of this fish would you expect to be tagged? Well, see, I don't get this. Because I, I can see it right here. I expect it. It's 18%. I would expect 18. Honestly, I don't, know, I don't understand. So I'm just going to put 18. And since I really don't understand, I'm not going to explain. Set the fish to catch to 100 Click catch and check. How does the number of tag fish compare to your estimate? All right, well, I'm going to do it again. Okay, catch to 100. Catch and check. All right, this time it was 23. So it was close. Uh, it's, so it was 23 fish instead of 18. So it went up by five. If you don't know how many fish are in a pond, you can use the results from the catch to write a proportion. We're not going to do that. Honestly, it does it for you right here. Here's the proportion, but we're not going to do that. So later. Now in the space to the right, see ya, and see ya. We're not going to do the we're not going to do the proportions. It does it for us anyway. All right, so now we're going to try this one. Or let me look. Yeah, on the pond tab, turn off show total fish in pond. Turn this off. All right. Click new pond, set the tag fish in pond and fish to catch to the same number 
of your choice under 75. So I'm going to put them both 50. All right, so new pond. New pond. I'm going to go 50 and 50. It said under 75. Okay. Boom. All right, how many fish were tagged and released? Well, that'd be 50. I set it to 50. 50. Now click catch and check. Fill in the blanks below to describe the number of tagged fish and total fish in your sample. All right, catch and check. 50 and seven. Uh, okay, so seven out of 50 were tagged. In the space to the right, write a proportion that you can use to estimate the fish population. Solve the proportion. Check your answer on the calculate tab. All right, well, we're going to just do it like this. We're going we're gonna to cheat. 7 over 50 equals 50 divided by X, and we're going to try to figure out what X is. So that's going to be the total population of, of fish. All right, so let's see. I'm going to have to use my calculator. Actually, no, I don't. That's right here. 357.143. All right, so using this, so to do this, you you would cross, you know, let me let me let me type it for you. So I can kind of show you how to do it in case you're curious. All right, so uh yeah, so seven out of the 50 were tagged. We, we're gonna cross multiply. We know that there's a total of 50 fish that are tagged. And we're trying to figure out what's the total population of fish. So you do some cross multiplying. Seven times X is seven X equals, this is equals, not times. 50 times 50, what is that? Let's see, I think it's 2,500. Let's make sure. 50 times 50 equals, that's correct, 2,500. 2,500. And then to get rid of this seven, to make get X by itself, we're going to divide seven by both sides like that. You do not have to be doing this. I'm just showing you how to do it. So it's going to be 2,500 divided by seven. 2,500 divided by seven equals, and that's 357, which we had right here. 357. All right, that's where we are. Total population is 357. How far off was your estimated population from the actual value? Actual value is 264. So that was pretty bad. It was off by over 100. That's that's not a very good one. It was off by more than 100. So that was a really poor estimate. Do you think your estimate would be more accurate if you increase the number of fish to catch? Yes. Yes. Now I'm just going to explain it in... in with my mouth, I'm going to say it's going to be more accurate because the more fish you catch, the closer it is to the actual population. So whenever you're doing like a, if you're polling, if you're doing a poll at Tulare Western to see, I don't know, you know, what's your favorite animal? You know, there's 2000 students at Western. You wouldn't want to just ask like three students and then say, oh, the favorite animal at Western is a kangaroo. Well, you just, you just, you just ask three students. You're going to probably want to ask like at least 50, you know, because out of two 2000. All right, so what else we got here? Suppose you use the capture-recapture method to come up with an estimate of 200 fish living in a pond. Assume that this result is accurate to within 20% of the estimate. If P is the... Oh, you don't need to know this. We don't need to know this. That's statistics. All right, later with that. All right, what are we going to do here? Oh, this is more proportions. We already did that, so I'm going to skip that. We don't need to do that again. Let's see this one. The percent error... All right, the percent error is, hey, how far off was our estimate? By what percent? And it's estimated value by this actual value divided by the actual value times 100. All right, so we'll do a couple of these. All right, so tagged fish is 10. Number of fish caught, 10. Number of tagged fish and catch. All right, so what are we going to do? Fill in the first row of the table for each catch, then change the number of fish to catch to the numbers shown in the first column and fill in the rest of the table. All right. See, it doesn't really give me all the things I need. I know the fish we're going to catch is 10. I guess I'll just leave the tag fish at 50. I'm sure it would be nice if it would tell me. New pond. Catch and check. All right. So 10, one of them, one of them was tagged. 
So we caught 10 fish. Of the 10, only one was tagged. Estimate population of fish. Oh, I'd have to do the... I'd have to do that ratio again. Honestly, I don't want to do it. So I'm just going to do this. The estimate is there are about 500 fish in the pond. It's nice. Just let the thing do it for you. 500. Actual fish population. Let's see. Oh, it's 311. Eh, it's not too good. That was off by 180 some. So 311. Percent error. So remember, we do that estimated value minus actual value divided by the actual value. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna do it up here. So estimated value is 500. Minus the actual value, which is 311. Divided by the actual value, which is 311 times 100. That's gonna give us our percent error. Let's see what we get here. So 500 minus 311 equals 189 divided by 311 and times 100 it was off by 60.7 percent so that's way that's i'm close you want it to be within like two percent maybe five but 60 that's terrible so 60.7 percent i'll do another one so now we're going to catch more fish so our our uh, estimates should become more accurate. So we're going to increase the number of fish we're catching to 30. Instead of 10. So we're catching more fish. It should give us a better uh, estimate. Catch and release. 30 and 6. All right. So we caught 6. And I could do, the, I could do another ratio, but we're not going to do that. Actually, let me go ahead and erase this. We're going to have to do it one more time. All right, and let's see, fish population estimate. Our estimate is 250, and it's actually 311. So we 250. Ah. 250, and what was it again? 311, oh wait, oh yeah, it's still 311. Hasn't changed since last time. Three one one. Oh, I right, with our percent error this time. So now it's going to be two fifty minus three eleven divided by three eleven times a hundred. That's going to give us how far off was our estimate. And it should be better this time. It should be closer. So two fifty. Minus 311 equals negative 61, doesn't matter, uh, divided by 311 times 100 equals. We're off by 19.6%. 19.6%. I will do it one last time. Eraser. Now we're going to catch... 80 fish, and this should make it even more accurate. The more fish you catch, the more accurate it's going to be. All right. Doink. Let's do it one last time. So now we're going to catch 80 fish. And this should be fairly accurate. Catch and check. 8, 80, and 7. Let's see. So this time we got 7. And our estimate is... Whoa, wow. Estimates there's 571, so we got worse. Actual population is 311. Actually, I, I don't know. Since there were so many tagged fish, I got to try to figure this out. So we caught more fish, and our estimate got way, way worse. Weird. All right, so let's see. Percent error. Let's go ahead and do it one more last time. So we, we guesstimated 571 minus 311. Divided by 311 times 100. All right, let's see what we get this time. 571 minus 311. 571 minus 311. Divided by 311 equals 83.6.836 times 100. 
Wow, 83.6% error. That's terrible. 83.6%. So that was, I mean, that's getting close to 100% off. So that was just a total. That was worthless. All right, we're definitely not going to do this six more times. So feel free to do that and that. Uh, do you, and this too. All right, let's see. Select the Calculate tab. For each of the following sample sizes, click Catch and Release. Catch and check five times. Record all five estimates below. And then fill in the rest of the table. I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to do the one with 30. All right, so five estimates of fish population. We're just going to do the 30 one. Set to 30. Pond, let's go ahead and get a new pond. Catch and release. All right, first one... 500. All right, so the first estimate is 500. All right, we're going to do it again. And check. Now it says there's 750. Wow, way up. Now this estimate is 750. Do it again. Catch and check. Now it says 500 again. 500. Now this one. Catch and check, 375, 375. Now this should make our estimate way better because we're catching a bunch of fish. We're doing it multiple times. Catch and check, 375 again, 375. Now we're gonna take an average of all these numbers. That's what, that's what the mean, when it asks for the mean, that's the average. So we're going to find the average. We're going to do that by adding all these up and dividing by five because there's one, two, three, four, five. All right. 500 plus 750 plus 500 plus 375 plus 375 equals 2,500 divided by five equals 500. So the mean, the average of all those estimates is 500. Let's see what the actual fish population is. The total fish is 338. 338. 338. Oh, no, I don't. Let's, all right, let me, let me see if I can do it off here on the side. All right, so we have our estimate is 500. Minus the actual population of 338. Divided by the actual population of 338. All right, now let's see what we get. 500 minus 338 equals that. Divided by 338 equals that. And it was actually not very good again. 47.9%. 47.9% error. So it was only about half, you know, about half, 50%. That's, that's not very good. Compare the percent errors for this five sample method to the percent errors for the one sample method. Does the five sample method seem more reliable? Well, it really doesn't seem more reliable. What was it on the 30 above? 30, it was 19.6. It's, well, actually, no, it doesn't. But it should be. I was going to say it should be more accurate, but it wasn't. And that's what happens in science sometimes. That's why you got to keep doing experiments over and over and over again. Because sometimes you get results that you don't expect. All right, what else we got? Oh, is that it? All right, so we didn't do all of it, but we did enough of it. All right, so do the best you can and hit submit. And I'll...